Hi, it's Miss Y, and we're gonna do a superhero craft today. I'm gonna show you how to make superhero arm cuffs. Here's what you need. A normal piece of paper, it could be any color, a TP cardboard tube, a glue stick, a pair of scissors, and something to color with. I'm going to use markers, but you could use crayons or color pencils just fine. So right now, I'm not really happy with the color of my cardboard tube. If I try drawing on it, it might not show up very well. We're going to use this paper to cover this tube so it'll be nice and bright. The great thing about this piece of paper is if you cut it into quarters or one-fourths, it'll be the perfect size to wrap around this cardboard tube. We're going to fold this paper to mark where we're going to cut it. You're gonna fold it in half two different ways. Fold it in half one way. It doesn't matter if it's the long way or the short way. And fold it in half one more time. This way we'll know where to cut. When you open your piece of paper, you should see one, two, three, four different rectangles. We only need one of them. So this is where we're going to cut our rectangle on the lines that I just created. This is the only one we're going to need. The rest of it can be used for another art activity on another day. Watch how this piece of paper almost exactly fits all the way around. So take a minute to make sure your paper is big enough. Now this paper is a little too big, not a problem at all. I have my handy dandy scissors and I can trim it so that it doesn't hang over. I'd really like to glue this white paper around it, then we'll cut it in half, then we'll get to color. I'm going to put some glue stick on my paper and make sure it's nice and sticky. No one likes a dried up glue stick. Put your cap back on. And then here we go. I'm going to gently roll this piece of paper around. Oops, and if it's a little bit off, no big deal. Just peel it back and try again. Work kind of quickly so the glue doesn't dry before you can peel it off. Oh, that's much better. There we go. And you'll notice on this side, this is the seam where one piece of paper meets the other piece of paper. You might need to add extra glue right here just to make sure it stays. Okay, now we're going to make two cuffs. And I'm going to think about where the middle is, right about in here. Squish the tube down a little bit, and that will help you get your scissors through it. Now, if you can only get one slice in there, that's enough for you to put your scissors into it and cut all the way around. Do your best. It might be a little bit tricky, but hang in there. You can do it. And there we have it. Two pieces of tube that are covered in white paper ready to become magical superhero cuffs. So another thing about this is Oh, wait a second. If you try it on, hey, it's too small. How am I supposed to get it around my wrist? Well, here's the answer. Find this seam that we talked about where one piece of paper meets the other piece of paper, and you're going to cut it all the way through right there. Now it opens up, and you can easily put your superhero cuff on like this. Now it's not going to connect on this side, and that's a-okay, it still stays on. See? Let's do that with the other one. Cut on the seam. Again, if you feel like you need to add more glue to make sure it doesn't come off, do that now. Then, let's try on the other one. Check it out! Now it's time to decorate my favorite part. I'm going to use some markers to create a design that shows what kind of superhero I want to be. I'm deciding to do an ombre effect with my name. 
Maybe you want to add your name to yours. Maybe you want to make up a superhero name. Maybe you just want to draw some pictures or symbols for what you want as your superpower. Think about what your superpowers mean to you and how you could help other people using those superpowers. I am just drawing block letters, but you can make your superhero cups any way that you want to. You are the artist. I like using markers because they're bold and we don't have to worry about the ink going through to the other side. But if you like things to your design to look more soft or delicate, you could use color pencils or you could use crayons too. Anything that you have at your home. It's looking good so far. I'm really happy with the way the colors are coming out. And I'm just going to draw some extra little details here and there. Maybe I'll draw a heart and I'm going to cover it with a whole bunch of more stars. This shows that I am using my superpower for big, bright things, and I'm showing that I care about other people. I really love purple, so I'm going to use as many purple colors as I can. You could use the whole rainbow in yours. You could do just your favorite colors. You get to decide what yours looks like. There's mine, Miss Y. Now, on the inside of my superhero cuffs, on this part that does not have the white paper, I'm going to write a word that reminds me of how I can be a superhero. Nobody else is going to see it. It's only going to be for me, my little secret. You get to decide what your word is and you are gonna write it inside your superhero cuffs. Think about what that word could be. It could be kind, it could be helpful, it could be brave, it could be hard worker. Think about those kinds of things that a superhero would be and I want you to write that word inside your cup and you will know that it's there. I'll share mine with you. I wrote kind, K-I-N-D. Okay, I'm gonna try it on. There's one, and here's the other. Yay! I feel super all ready. Thanks for joining me, bye!